Hi guys, it's uh, John back here with uh, another final reveal video. Today we're looking at the finished product of Hasegawa's lovely Grumman F11F Tiger. The, uh, its claim to fame was that it was the first United States naval carrier-borne fighter to achieve supersonic flight as a production aircraft. The kit itself, um, I'll be honest with you, it went together like a dream. There were no serious fit issues with it. I had no problems whatsoever with the uh, with the transfers. The transfers went on, they actually fell on. Even the shark's teeth and sinia, I'll just turn the aircraft over so you can see it. The shark's teeth and sinia there, which is clearly visible on the nose, that transfer is in two halves and it fits either side of the fuselage behind the nose cone there. And it went on and it met in all the right places and there were no creases and issues with it whatsoever. I actually found that it went on like a piece of cake. So all the markings went on really nice. The kit went together like a dream. Um, the finished result, um, I'm, I'm very pleased with. Very, very pleased with. So that's the final reveal for the Hasegawa Grumman F11F Tiger. No issues whatsoever. The paint scheme I chose was just standard Humbrol 22 underside. Standard Humbrol 40 top coat um, and the rear jet not jet pipe there is actually painted in Tamiya gunmetal and the inside is just MAT 33. I did use a new colour that I hadn't used before and that's on the tyres. The tyres are actually in, um, not very easy to see there but that's probably better. The tyres are actually painted in Tamiya's rubber black colour. And I think they uh, resemble rubber black quite well. A friend of mine came around the other day and he was looking at this kit and the other kit that I'm about to um, final reveal. Uh, and he was saying that he had to check to see if the tyres on the Tiger were actually plastic or made of rubber. Well, they're definitely plastic. They're just painted in this Tamiya colour, which is really, really close to rubber tyre black. So <clears throat> that's, that's the Tiger. Um... If you've got one of these kits uh, in your stash and you fancy building it, have a go at it. It's a nice, really easy, straightforward build. No fit issues. Didn't use any filler on this kit whatsoever. Um, very pleased with the results. Lovely little piece of, lovely piece of work from Hasegawa. So well done there, Hasegawa. That's the end of the video. I'll see you for the next one, lads. Bye for now.